I thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour, right here on Illuminati Radio. I am your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this page, please hit that follow button and turn on all your notification bells. I said if you're new to this page, please hit that follow button and turn on all your notification bells so that you can be catch this breaking news stories as we drop it. Drop it like it's hot. And also, if you have a special request video that you want me to do, or some celebrity you want me to do a video on, or YouTuber you want me to do a video on, or a particular topic you want me to drop some understanding on, there's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. Let's go! Alright, so Camilla Anthony, ex-NBA player. I don't know if he's still playing NBA, but, um, you know what I'm saying? Being that you didn't sign that oath, Camilla Anthony... You still, you know what I'm saying, get to enjoy certain certain levels of success on certain platforms. Well, he got a YouTube series called What's In Your Drink. And, um, well, yeah, the podcast is called What's In Your Drink. I think the podcast is called What's In Your Drink. The YouTube series is called Canaan 13. Oh, Lord. Let me tell you something. Do you see Camilla Anthony? Do you see how much he's tattooed up? Do you know where tattoos originally come from? Tattoos don't originally come from you gangsters. You gangsters is does nothing but doing but following after your enemy. That's all you gangsters is doing. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> tattoos originally come from the Canaanites. Yes. Does that name sound familiar to you? I'm going to say that again. Tattoos originally come from the Canaanites. Yes, and that's why Carmel Anthony is all tattooed up, and that's why his YouTube series is called Canaan 13. 13? Really? I know a lot of people may say, well, Canaan 13, that's one of his kids. Maybe his kids is 13 or something like that. No, they want you to think that. Camilla Anthony, I want you to um, uh, uh, um, look in the book of... Um, um, Psalms chapter 83. Psalms chapter 83 verse, I say go all the way down to verse 6. It'll tell you who is all of your enemies. Who is all of your enemies that have came against you. And Canaan, the Canaanites, is one of them. Canaan is one of them. Yes, Ishmael is another one. You know what I'm saying? Edom is another one. But the Canaanites right here we need to focus on. Because America does these Canaanite rituals. Because America is modern day Canaan. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand what Esau. You know what I'm saying? For all y'all know who Esau, I'm pretty sure everybody should know who Esau is by now. But Esau went in and married the daughters of the Canaanites. So, case in point, that's why America worship Canaanite gods. And this is a form of pouring energy into Canaanite gods. Canaan 13? Really? So you mean to tell me everybody who tunes into this YouTube series, you know what I'm saying? That pushes energy into the name Canaan 13. Forget, you know what I'm saying, you guys putting energy into Jesus Christ anymore because we know that, you know what I'm saying, Jesus is not the real Messiah's name. So a lot of people is pulling back off of putting energy into Jesus. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people is pulling back on, you know what I'm saying, celebrating Christmas because we know Christmas is pagan. So it's, it's less energy going into Christmas. It's less energy going into uh, uh, Easter. So it's less energy going into these Canaanite gods that they put before us for us to put energy into. So they got to create new and, new and improve more modern ways of us to pour energy into these Canaanite gods. The same way you have the versus battle. Pay attention to how versus is spelled. V-E-R-Z-U-Z. -E -Z. How is Jesus spelled? G-E-S-U-S. -S. If you want to get fancy with it, how do you spell it? G-E-Z-U-Z. -Z. 
versus V E R Z U Z. You know what I'm saying? Then you have, you know what I'm saying, the Zeus Network. This black man so called invented the Zeus Network. You know what I'm saying? It's all, these are all modern day uh, uh, ways of you getting you people to pour your good energy into these pagan gods again. Because the old ways are no more. Now they need to come up with new ways. And you know what I'm saying? And then they say, um, uh, uh, poor up uh, is him. You know what I'm saying? And it's, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, what's that other rapper name? Some other rappers in this. And they, it's about drinking wine. Really? Listen, tell me, let me tell you something, people. In this day and time, our people don't need to be drinking wine. We need to be more vigilant. We need to be sober-minded. Because when you're drunk and when you're always out of your mind, you ain't gonna see when the enemy comes. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna have a you ain't gonna know when the enemy is coming to you. You ain't gonna know Satan's devices. You know what I'm saying? That's why I stay sober minded so that I can stay sober minded for you all. So that I can see these little different, you know what I'm saying, enemy enemy techniques that they are using to get you guys to pour energy into them. You know what I'm saying? Pour energy into their machines. You got to understand, Psalm chapter 83 says, They have taken crafty counsel against thy hidden ones. You got to pay attention to what that crafty counsel is. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to come up to you and put a gun to your head and say, BAM! No, they're going to do it the crafty way. You see what I'm saying? The same way them put, giving you these vaccines. They're not going to knock at your door and force the vaccine on you. They're going to do it the crafty way. You know what I'm saying? Psalm chapter 83 tells you exactly what their agenda is. And if you and if you paid attention to that, you would understand the craftiness of your enemy. You know what I'm saying? Camilla Anthony is a satanic scumbag. And the proof is he got all of them Canaanite tattoos all over his body. You know what I'm saying? Little Wayne got all them Canaanite tattoos all over his body. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what them tattoos represent? It represents the gods that they worship. Canaan worshiped multiple gods. Man, not only Canaan, the whole region of Africa worshiped nothing but pagan gods. You know what I'm saying? They put them tattoos on their body because it's to worship their god. You know what I'm saying? But this is, you know what I'm saying, Camilla Anthony, you know what I'm saying, congratulations, you say Taylor Scumbag, you. You got yourself a YouTube series, you know what I'm saying. Now go somewhere and croak. Anyway, this is News. I want to thank you all for tuning in logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here Illuminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this page, please hit that follow button. Hit that notification bell. Well, if you're new to this page, please pay attention and hit that follow button and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. Also, if you have any special request videos that you want me to do, a celebrity you want me to do a video on, or a YouTuber you want me to do a video on, or a particular topic you want me to drop some understanding on, it's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. Let's go! Next time, stay tuned. God bless you.